Okay, uh, this video is to show you how to configure the limits of a rolling shear motor, okay? Uh, first, we're gonna set up uh, the lower limit, okay? If you see, this little hole here is to set up the lower limit. This one is to set up the upper limit, okay? You see, we're gonna start with the lower limit, okay? So you just have to put this tool here, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find the original limit, okay? Which one is the original limit where the motor is gonna stop, okay? So we use the, the remote, we lower it until it stops, okay? In this case, the motor stops here. That means that the lower limit is there. So the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna find, uh, we're gonna do the lower limit first, okay? We click on the down button, the remote, and we turn counterclockwise, okay? For when the motor is on the right side, we use the tool to set up the limit counterclockwise, uh, okay? If I want to stop here, the limit is there, so now, Let's double check this. We're going down again, and it stops, okay? Uh, what happens if we do not find the limit where the screen is? So let's make a, a sample, okay? Let's move the, the limit, okay? Imagine if we don't have the limit and we're trying to find it. If we see this, Okay, that means that the screen keeps going down, which it cannot be. So we have to rise the limit, the lower limit, to find it in the range of the screen, okay? So let's do it again. How do we do this? We have to turn this with the tool clockwise, okay? We go, we go, we go, and we test. We haven't found it yet, it's close, look. So let's go again, let's turn it until we find it, okay? Go again, and there you go, the limit is there. Now, go down, and we found it, okay? Now. The lower limit is set up. Yeah. Now we're gonna set up the upper limit, okay? Get the remote and we roll it up until it stops. In this case, stop here. So it's within the, uh, within the range of the screen. So we do the same thing, counterclockwise and we roll it off until we want it to stop. Example, we want it there. We test it. Go up and stops. One last time, let's check both limits. Go down. And stops. Now, we go up and let's see. is there now let's say something uh let's imagine that the upper limit is not in the range of the screen okay let's suppose that is way up we have to be careful and uh, when we roll it up we have to see that this stops if you don't stop the bottom bar you're gonna break the uh, the brackets the motor even the box okay so in this case, we lower the screen, we have to find or bring the upper limit between the, the range of the screen. So we use the tool, we turn it clockwise. So this means that we are lowering the limit. And let's see. 
is there. You see? We find it again, is there. Now, with this, counterclockwise, and we have the limit again. We double check, just in case. And that's it, we have the limit.